Have you ever wondered how a simple act of kindness can change your life? In a world where such acts are often overlooked, there was once a poor slave, living a life of unimaginable hardship. His days were filled with relentless toil and unending torment under a cruel master. The strikes of the whip and the harsh words were as frequent as the sunrise. One day the weight of his plight became unbearable. He could no longer shoulder the burden of his existence, so he made a decision. A decision to escape. Fueled by desperation and a longing for freedom he slipped away, vanishing into the vast, dense forest. His heart pounded in his chest like a drum, echoing the fear and uncertainty of his daring escape. Every rustle of the leaves, every snap of a twig sent a shiver down his spine, and so the slave found himself in the heart of the forest, a place filled with unknown dangers. In the midst of his fear the slave stumbles upon a sight he didn't expect to see, a majestic lion, the king of the forest, limping in pain. The lion's paw was pierced by a thorny bramble, rendering him unable to walk. Fear could have ruled the slave, but instead, courage took hold. The slave, despite his own plight, felt a surge of empathy for the helpless creature. He approached the lion, his heart pounding with every step. Every instinct told him to run, yet he stayed. With trembling hands he reached out to the lion's paw, taking a moment to soothe the creature before he swiftly removed the thorn. A wave of relief washed over them both. The lion roared, not in anger, but in what seemed like gratitude. The slave had shown kindness where he could have shown fear. The lion, free of the thorn, ran into the forest, leaving the slave alone yet again. Just when the slave thought he was safe, his past caught up with him. In the stillness of the forest the echo of heavy footsteps and clinking chains shattered the peace. It was his master, his cruel past, and his impending doom. The master, with a triumphant smirk, captured the slave along with some other forest animals, the very ones the slave had grown to call friends. The irony of his situation was palpable. Here he was, a man who fled the chains of his master, only to be ensnared in them again. The others, innocent creatures of the forest, were also victims of the master's greed. The slave's heart sank as he was dragged back to his old life, this time with a cruel twist. The master, in his twisted sense of amusement, ordered the slave to be thrown into the lion's den. Thrown into the den, the slave could only wait for his fate. In the face of danger, the slave found a familiar face. As he was thrown into the lion's den, the slave's eyes met with the lion he had once helped. There was a moment of stillness in the air, a moment where the only sounds were the distant calls of forest creatures and the heavy breaths of the lion. The lion, its gaze locked onto the slave, approached slowly. It was a scene of pure tension, a dance between fear and recognition. Then, with a soft growl, the lion lowered its head, a gesture of recognition. The lion remembered the kindness shown to him by the slave in the forest. Choosing not to harm the man who had once helped him, the lion sat by the slave's side, a silent protector in the face of adversity. The other animals in the den, sensing the lion's decision, did not harm the slave either. The slave once again found himself unharmed in the forest. With a newfound hope, the slave decided to do something he never thought he could. Emboldened by his experience with the lion, he made a courageous decision. He looked around and saw the other animals, trapped and scared, just like he was. It was a sight that tugged at his heartstrings. He remembered his own fear, his own longing for freedom, and he knew he had to do something. So he set his mind to freeing the other animals. It was a daunting task, but he was driven by determination and a sense of justice. He faced many challenges but he never backed down. Each animal he freed was a testament to his bravery and his desire to help others. His actions echoed throughout the forest, a beacon of hope for all who were oppressed. He was no longer just a poor slave, he was a hero. And so, a single act of kindness not only saved the slave but also set many others free.